Now, official residences of cabinet ministers in Cape Town and Pretoria have cost taxpayers 58 million rand in the provision of services since 2019. A breakdown of this figure was revealed by Public Works Minister Sihia Zikalala from a parliamentary question posed by the DA. Now, the DA has described this as an abuse of power by the ANC-led government, wasting money while millions of citizens live in poverty. Now, the breakdown of the costs include provisions of free water, electricity and alternative power supply, as well as security upgrades. Now, let's chat more about this. I'm joined by DA MP Dr. Leon Schreiber. Thank you so much, um, Leon, for joining me this afternoon. Let's first take a look at this, you know, 58 million rand. It is a huge sum. Um, but more particularly, 18.3 million rand was spent on providing free electricity to ministers and deputy ministers at 58 Cape Town mansions and then 22 million yen Pretoria for 39 mansions. Those two amounts, very large sums when it comes to providing electricity. Yes, indeed. And, uh, you know, this comes, of course, in the context of the load shedding crisis that South Africans are suffering un under every single day. Um, and when you take together those figures, uh, over 40 million rand just for water and electricity, and you add in the 7 million rand that was spent to actually procure things like generators and solar power and inverters and other things for these official residences, then the picture is very clear that the cabinet ministers and deputy ministers, who are, of course, responsible at the end of the day for causing the load shedding crisis, are actually using taxpayer money to escape the consequences of that crisis. And I think that that is something that most South Africans would find to be immoral, to say the least. But it also creates a very serious question around the seriousness of this government to actually solve load shedding when it doesn't actually experience what it is about on the ground. Mm. But many would also say that 58 million rand is just, you know, it's, it's not a big amount when it comes to saving, you know, as other people from the electricity crisis, South Africans from the electricity crisis. Um, but I do also want to ask you this question about the 387 million rand uh, per year for salaries of over 600 support staff. That's also a massive amount. Yes, so I think that the question you pose there is an important one. Uh, this is not an isolated set of abuses in our view. Uh, and remember that all of this comes and is made possible by something called the Ministerial Handbook, which is a document that, as far as we can tell, does actually not have any law that provides for this document to exist. So that is something that we have referred to the public protector. But if you look at it in totality, the amount that South Africans are actually spending on maintaining the lifestyles of ministers and deputy ministers is actually quite shocking and does amount to something very substantial. So you've mentioned there the 387 million for um, staff members. So uh, remember, there are about 30 ministers and 36 deputy ministers, and together they are employing more than 600 people uh, as staff members. That adds up to about 2 billion rand going back to the 2019 election. Then, of course, there are the houses, the properties themselves. We've recently established that those properties are worth about 1 billion rand in total. Then you add things like VIP security, which is going to take you over 500 million rand a year. And of course, things like salaries, pensions and other benefits. And that is exactly what the DA is busy doing. We are asking all of these questions and we are busy compiling all of this information because I'd like to give you a single figure eventually for how much the ministerial handbook is actually costing South Africans every year. But I already feel quite comfortable to say that we are looking at around 1.5 billion rand a year spent on maintaining the lifestyles of what we submit are rock star ministers and deputy ministers. 